Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray. Today's video, I want to talk about a plugin called Track Spacer by a company called Wave Factory. Now, how many of you guys mixing your track have a problem with the bass and the kick? A lot of conflicts there. There's a lot of ways to deal with it, but I'm going to show you one way how to deal with that problem. Let me show you some of the controls here. Over here, you have freeze, you have your ratio, your EQ curve, so basically your low pass, high pass, advanced panel, you have your pan, LR, MS, attack, release, and sidechain. So here's what I did. I created a bus over here at the kick track called the TS. So then you come to the plugin and you look at your key input and you select that bus. Everything's at default. So let's play around with it. Let's listen to how it sounds at default. And then we're going to play around with some of the controls, see if it makes a difference. Nice. I really didn't do anything to the plugin. The only thing I did, I brung up the kick a little bit. And as you can hear, the plugin is actually bringing down that bass a little bit. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push the plugin. I'm going to make it work really hard. And I want you guys to really hear exactly what's going on. So it definitely takes that bass, it brings it down, allows that kick to come right through. Now, of course, I'm pushing the hell out of the plugin. So if we take it back down a little bit, if we bring the ratio down just a little bit more, somewhere around there, it should sound good. Although, you got to bring this up just around here and let's listen to it now. As you can hear, it was subtle, but it is definitely doing its job. And that's what you want. You want it to be subtle. Although, I pushed it hard. And how many of us watch tutorials and they put a compressor and it's so subtle. If you're starting off, you don't know what's going on. So I prefer to push things, allow you guys to understand, hear it. But remember, in the real session, you're not going to do that. So there you go, guys. This is Track Spacer. This is video one. I'm going to make multiple videos on this plugin. Somewhere on the screen, you're going to see that subscribe button. Subscribe. Stay tuned for the future videos. Check the description. It's going to take you over to the Wave Factory website. I want to thank the guys over there for allowing me to play around with this plugin. And there's going to be a lot more videos coming with this plugin. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, post in the bottom. Give me a thumbs up. Check Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.